Hi everyone, I just wanted to take a look at the LG G2 with their Houston's Android 4.4.2 Paranoid Android 4.4 Beta 1 Bit of a mouthful, but let's check it out So diving right in, we can see that this ROM is based on Android 4.4.2 currently Not the latest version of KitKat, but the next version should be updated to 4.4.3 with all the additional uh, minor features that have come in that ROM. Well, as you can see, double tap still works, screen on and screen off, which is fantastic. Performance of this ROM is stunning. Um, you know, it's fluid, fast, games work well, you know, all the widgets work well, as you can see. Um, I mean, this is Nova Launcher, but you know, multitasking is an absolute breeze. I mean, it's uh, essentially stock Android, but you know, with the usual paranoid Android features. So, you know, I've been very impressed with the ROM so far. Uh, very few issues. Um, the only issues that crop up on Houston's forum, which I'll post a link to in the description, things like sometimes Bluetooth calling uh, doesn't work properly. Um, usually just requires reconnecting to the Bluetooth device. Um, it's always worked well for me. Sometimes the GPS can be a bit iffy. Um, but otherwise, I haven't had any issues. Sometimes there's the call echo, where the person receiving the call from you hears themselves back in their phone. But again, I've never had this issue on the D802. Um, so you know, performance has always been snappy, whether it be gaming, browsing, multitasking. Okay, well let's take a look at some of the features of the ROM. Paranoid Android, one of their most notable new features is Hover, which is their way of managing notifications. I find it really useful. It's a good way of multitasking. And it just pops up at the top. It's, um, it's very elegant and uh, unobtrusive, which I think is what they were going for with this latest you know, version of Paranoid Android. So it just pops up at the top like that, tells you it's ready to be viewed I mean you can swipe down and delete it, you can swipe it away side to side you know, or you can tap on it and it opens up a window um, if you're in another app and say, say you're in an email and you receive a WhatsApp you can tap on it up at the top and it'll open a window of WhatsApp it's the full version of WhatsApp, you can type your reply tap out of the window and continue it's, it's just a great way of multitasking, fluid, quick and unobtrusive so another paranoid Android feature is Peak. You receive a notification, you pick up your device, and it shows you your notifications on your lock screen. So I've got a screenshot. I've got mine. Just my Google Now. And then a Gmail. And if you tap on them, it opens them. It's another way of dealing with notifications. It's pretty unobtrusive. It doesn't really use up any battery life because it only triggers for about 15 seconds after receiving the notification and if you pull it out of your pocket you can just see what it is and if you don't want to see it you put it back it just means you don't have to unlock your phone it's just a really good way of seeing notifications other features within the ROM I mean there's the uh, the uh, notification shade and when you have your quick quick tiles menu you've got square options for individual settings so your Bluetooth not discoverable you know the accuracy of your location your immersive mode, so in immersive mode I like to keep my top bar, it's just how I like it, I don't want to flick down once and flick down again but I like pie controls, I like having the screen real estate so I have the navigation bar setting where it just removes the navigation bar, you can have it so it just removes the status bar or you can have it in full immersive just, just options like that, I mean you can rearrange the tiles to wherever you want, I mean you know, everyone likes a bit of customization, so that's always good to see. I mean, it's worth noting that Paranoid Android isn't, you know, the king of customization. That's fine. I, you know, you can do whatever you want. You can in install ROMs that, you know, you can change everything. The color of your bars, color of icons, fine. You probably do that with an exposed module anyway. Um, it's just nice to see a clean ROM. Works just like stock. Performance is great and you have a few extra features that just, you know, you can make it your own. should note that battery life on this ROM is also really good. If you just go down to my battery stats, I mean this is today, so it's probably a bit more screen on time than 
normal, but I'm on 81%. I've got an hour and three quarters of screen on time. Granted, I'm on Wi-Fi. Uh, I've probably made a half an hour voice call. And then otherwise, I've just been, you know, fiddling around recording this video. And then just on WhatsApp, Google+, Plus, Google Chrome. So the battery life's good. Generally, six hours screen on time. Maybe five hours if you're on 4G, but it's just... It's just amazing. I mean, generally I get two days out of it with four and a half to five hours, so it's just really good battery life. So that was just a quick look at Houston's Paranoid Android 4.4 Beta 1 for the LG G2. As I say, all links will be in the description. Um, the forums are pretty active. Houston's great at replying, and there's a few other active people on there who are just, you know, if you have any issues, it's, uh, it's just a really good place to, you know, find out new information about the ROM and uh, yeah, cheers.